Finishing drywall involves taping and mudding seams between adjacent sheets with joint compound. The process can be a little time consuming, but do it right and you reduce the amount of sanding needed and end up with a smooth, finished wall. It'll generally take three coats to finish drywall, applying joint compound with progressively larger drywall knives. Spread joint compound on a hawk or any flat tray so it's easy to access using your knife. The first coat you'll apply is called the bedding. Start by filling screw dimples and nail heads with joint compound using a six inch drywall knife. Hammer in any protruding screws and smooth the gaps with compound. Next, apply the compound along the horizontal seams between the drywall sheets using the six inch knife. Be sure to smooth the compound as you progress. Tape the horizontal seams while the compound is still moist. Press the tape over the compound every foot or so to keep it smooth and hold it in place. With the tape in place, apply a layer of compound over the tape with an 8 inch drywall knife at a slight angle. Move the knife over the tape to embed it and remove any excess compound. Once your horizontal seams are complete, apply a thin layer of compound to the inside corners on the wall using a six inch drywall knife. Start from the top and work your way down the wall, smoothing the compound as you progress. When the compound has been applied, fold drywall tape in half and run it down the height of the wall, pressing it into the damp compound. Again, press the tape in every 12 inches until you reach the floor. Use a corner trowel to smooth the tape against the wall. Start from the top and work your way down the wall, smoothing the compound as you progress. Taping inside corners can be quite tricky. A corner trowel does a better job of smoothing the tape against the corner and removing excess compound. Dip the trowel in water so it glides smoothly over the tape and doesn't pull it away from the wall. The technique for taping and mudding vertical butt joints is the same as the horizontal. Avoid overlapping the tape so you get a smoother finish. Attach corner bead to the outside corners of your drywall. Use a spray adhesive to ensure the bead sticks to the wall and wear gloves for this as the process can be a little messy. Press the corner bead against the wall every 12 inches, starting from the top. Apply joint compound over the corner bead. You can be fairly liberal with the use of the compound here. You'll need to use plenty. Work from the top to bottom and smooth the compound as you progress. When the first coat is fully applied to all the seams, corners and screw dimples, leave it to dry thoroughly. Use a slightly larger 8 inch drywall knife to apply a second coat of compound over the seams and outside corners. Feather the edges of the dried compound so that the second layer is two inches wider than the first. Apply a second coat over the screw holes and again, use a corner trowel for the inside corners. Let the second coat dry thoroughly overnight. Before you apply the third coat the following day, tidy up any rough parts of the drywall surface with a sander and the edge of a drywall knife. For the third coat, the compound should be thinned with water so it dries quicker. The compound should be about the consistency of mayonnaise. 
Again, use a slightly larger 10 or 12 inch drywall knife to apply the third layer of compound. Feather all edges two inches beyond the dried second coat. Let the final coat dry, then use a damp sponge to smooth out any rough parts. The sponge also works well to clean the surface and collect dust from the sanding. Your drywall is now ready to be primed for painting. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Here's a reminder of the tools and material you'll need to complete this project.